Robert, it seems like the big story this week is inflation. What can you tell us about the data that came out this week? Yes, yeah, Susan, we, we got three big readings on inflation. The consumer price index came in a little bit hotter than expected. The producer price index also a little hotter than expected. And then import prices a little hotter than expected. All three of those measures were driven up by energy prices, uh, oil uh, increasing through uh, January. The, what we do know is that, that we'll probably see the reverse of that in February with oil prices already coming down a little bit. But the reason why the inflation story is so important right now is because the Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates, and this is the rationale for raising interest rates late in the business cycle, is to put the brakes on the economy to prevent a, a heating up of inflation. So there's a lot of analysis over whether this is short-term inflation, is it spreading out, is it going to be with us for a while, what's driving it? In my view, most of what we've seen this last week for the data that came out in January is very short term driven by energy prices, but it does show what I'll call a whiff of inflation in other non-energy metrics, uh, automobile prices uh, going up, uh, things like that. And so I, I do think we have to look at this data carefully and it's gonna be very interesting to see uh, when the Federal Reserve next meets over March 20th, 21st, how they're going to be talking about this inflation data and do we see perhaps that dot plot lift up a little bit indicating maybe four rate hikes this year instead of what now the consensus view is for three. Okay, let's move on to housing and mortgages. Uh, what information do we have out now to tell us how 2018 is going to be shaping up? Well, this is interesting because the inflation story is really related to the housing story and that's through interest rates. The Federal Reserve is, is lifting interest rates. We're seeing mortgage rates coming up now. The Mortgage Bankers Association said last week it was up 30-year fixed rate mortgage, up to 4.5%. Uh, the good news in the story is that we saw housing starts and permits both come up pretty strongly in January, as well as very strong uh, builder confidence. So the construction part of the market uh, is doing very well. But my concern is on the sales side, because with the raise, uh, the increase in mortgage rates up to four and a half percent, we've also seen a little bit of softness in the mortgage applications data uh, for the first couple of weeks of February. And that tells us you know, a lot about home purchases. And so my expectation is that home sales are going to be a little bit softer than expected for February. And the concern, of course, is that it's because rates are rising. Now, I can't tell you exactly why that's happening, uh, but we're going to monitor this very carefully over the next few months to see if we're getting some pushback in the housing market from higher mortgage rates.